know what I mean? It's big enough for this farm. I'm five foot three, four. Oh, yeah, so it's five foot two. It's probably bang on to you. I love that cow. She's huge. She's just massive, isn't she? Again, pause the video, put in the comment section below what you think those cows are worth average. <laughs> Finish happily washing out. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video, which we've been doing quite well at the moment. You would have seen at the start, we were milking cows and then it went all crackly. So, what actually happened is my audio didn't work. My mic. Hey. My mic stopped working. We have milked our cows this morning. You can see we have a selection of cows. She is a milking cow that needs to go in the highs. And you'll see we have a black and white one. We have woolly. Uh, we have this black one. And then we have a black and white one there. These are our heifers. So we are actually looking at selling some heifers. We have enough silo. We have enough beds. The issue is we don't have enough feed space. We've always had that issue in the lows. We're looking to develop it next year. Fingers crossed. But I don't want to say too much because I don't want to jinx it. It's, it's some exciting stuff. I've hinted at about enough, but we'll find out as soon as we kind of guarantee. So we're kind of overstocked for feed space, but not for bed space. They're doing pretty well, they're milking quite well, but we feel like we just not have too many on. Last year we were, had 118 in the herd, that was including dry cows. This year we're up to 141, so we've grown by. 23 cows and that is quite a lot. Fertility is really good. We're just averaging uh, on the 12 months 2.05 conceptions per service um, which is pretty cool um, and we are also cell counts at 63 average at 72 over the year 63 last week. So cows are getting calved they're doing really well and we have plenty of heifers. So these guys are heifers we spoke to our heifer dealer the other day and the heifer price is really good at the moment. So is there any point keep producing milk where we don't need it? Anything we produce over and what we don't sell on the milk rounds, the doorstep, we sell to spot. The spot's all right, but it's not amazing. You'll see my Instagram, my Snapchat, this cow here, Heifer, called Wooly. She's even got a name. I really like her. Great cow, her bag's great. You'll see from footage that I just shot this morning. We had every single cow on hold this morning to see what they gave. She dropped, I think it was 18.8 .8 or 19.8 .8 this morning, and then you add 70% on again for the milk she'll give this afternoon. So she'll be like a 32 litre cow, which is great for a heifer for us. And then we have a, she's about 22, 23, and the middle one's about 25, uh, respective. I don't know which side it was. And um, this morning she only dropped her 11, 12 litres, but she's only new carbs. You need to trim the tail up, and I think she has progression to keep going forward. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just gonna clip the tails, tidy them up. We're gonna put them back in the back shed until our cow dealer comes and then I'll show him these cows. 
and I'll go with the good points and the bad points. You can see the other heifer that we had kicked it off about three or four times this morning. We don't sell cows like that because people don't want to buy cows like that. They always want to buy your best, which is a little bit annoying. But obviously, if you want to buy, you don't want to buy any rubbish, as they say. Uh, the other reason for selling this cow is you'll see, so she's a heifer. She's only, I think she's 26 months old. And so look at the size of it. She's massive. We are trying to get the smaller cows, like this kind of size-ish. Why are we selling? We've got too many. Um, but this kind of cat size is even this cow is a big cow, but she's huge. At 26 months, she's this size. She's only going to get bigger, and we don't need them any bigger. We like the small cows. That's why we're mixing the Ayrshire Friesian Holstein ish. Right, get these tails trimmed and get them back in the back shed. Tail, you carved. Boom! Looks a lot better, looks a lot tidier. Uh, we don't take the tapes off just in case he doesn't take this one, there's no good taking it off. That's all I trim, I don't really trim anymore. He even says, don't even bother trimming anything, but I think there's a bit of pride in the job. So what we're gonna do is, how much do you reckon we'll get for these guys? So this guy, this girl, gives about 22, 32 liters, really well on the back end. Uh, she's only dropping 12 this morning, so she'll drop about 20 liters overall, and she's on about 25. So what do you reckon we'll average? For these guys, I will tell you at the end, what we're going to do now is just walk them back in the back shed. I'm not keeping them out. I want them to get a belly full of food. I just wanted to trim them up, make them look tidy. So when he looks at them, they look good. If you've got any questions, put it in the comments section below. Again, the reason why we're selling them is because we have enough milk. We're producing enough at the moment and we're a bit full on. I wouldn't mind producing more milk if I thought we could do it with no problem. I think we're just on the verge of cows not performing to the top ability. They're all getting in calf, they're doing fine. It's milk production. I feel like we could get more milk production per cow if we just dropped a couple of numbers. Me and dad had this conversation the other day. I am more like, I want to keep every single cow. I want to milk more. I want to go more, more, more. Dad's a bit like, hone it in. Make sure you're doing well with your cows you're doing, which we are. There is no issue with what we're doing at the moment. But I know I have... 24 dry cows and for we've got we're milking 112 at the moment so that's a lot of dry cows so we're gonna have a lot of cows carve is that just gonna peak over the top so take the chance sell a couple uh, put a bit of money in the bank obviously that's a big draw as well with the price being a little bit higher than it normally is there's pros and cons with everything producing milk that's what we do but now milk isn't as important we don't need to produce it to go into the milk market we need to produce as much milk as we can for the doorstop and the dairy. And then after that, we don't really need to produce any more. We're actually better producing more beef. Get these in, cows in there, and uh, chat to you after the deal is gone. I don't think he really wants to be on camera, which is totally understandable. <whistles> Go ahead. The other day we picked four beef stock out for the farm shop. They only like having two a week because they can only fit two a week with the other stuff in the backlog. So uh, we have to keep them in the herd. Really, I probably should just pick two out and that'll be fine. Go ahead. Yeah. Got one heifer who's gone straight to food. The other heifer up there has gone straight to drink. The heifer that we just clipped its tail had a long tail. She's gone straight into food. And where's Wooly? Wooly is there. It's gone straight into food. That's perfect because I want to know the cows that we're getting rid of are eating, they're clean, and they're giving milk. Right, now wait for the dealer to come. Again, pause the video, put in the comment section below what you think those cows are worth, average, either between 1100 quid, hopefully we'll get that at least, or two and a half grand. We got two and a half grand, what a, what a chicken dinner. Oh, by the way, we've got the mic working. A cow pushed my GoPro over and hit the mic as battery out of sync. Oh, good girl. And then there's Wooly, and I don't know where Wooly is. Yeah, she's here. Do you know what I mean? She's big enough for this farm. Save though. But is it a farm or is it a business? By the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this, is they're going to other farms to be milked before I get any of the comment sections. She's, uh, <laughs> look at her, she's a bit steady. Yeah, these cows are going to, these heifers are going to get milked somewhere. They're not going for meat. Oh, that me four. That's me four. So these are the four heifers. We just had one fall over, which is so annoying after you're trying to sell them. This heifer, those two black and whites, 
and then Wooly, you can just see, like I said a few times now, she's just so big. Heidi, just stand next to Wooly. I'm five foot three, so. Oh yeah, so it's five foot two. It's probably bang on to your. So that's how big she is. She's just a bit big. So this is what we do. We have them in the collecting yard. We walk them around and then the cow buyer looks at them, how they walk, that's how they're doing. I kind of show them the NMR, tell them what the NMR are doing, uh, if they kick it off, if they don't, and if they're chilled. But uh, people don't want to be on camera, so see you in a minute. Hi, uh, yeah, it's the three, and uh, there's a one. Just take it, big good cows on. Uh, okay. See you, boy. Look at her, I think it's the right thing. Like, I love that cow. She's huge. She's just massive, isn't she? Yeah, she's gonna get bigger, isn't she? She's only two years old. Look at the size of her. So the cows have gone. We sold all four. I only was looking at selling two. Well, that's how it goes when there's four there. What did you guys get? The two black and white ones and the favorite woolly, 1800 quid a piece. And then the other one that had only just carved, was dropping 12 liters that I really think will get pushed on. She's only on three pounds of cake at either side of the day. She was 1600, so altogether that is 7,000 pounds. It's not something I want to do. I don't like selling cows. I like to produce all my cows and keep them going and keep them going. But then you just look at the farm, and like I say, we're up, what were we up, 23 cows this year. I know we've got some cool cows, but then we've got some cows due to carve. There's, I think there's 10, 12 heifers in here that are all bagging up to a degree in the next month or two. The other thing whilst I was doing it and just finishing off, I thought, if I'm in my head thinking, probably don't need all these heifers, then I know it's probably the right thing to do. Sometimes you gotta think of a business and not as much with, with your heart, let's say. But yeah, so that's what we did. We sold three for 1,800 quid a piece, one for 1,600 quid. So all together in 7,000 pounds. 7,000 pounds pays a feed bill for a month. You know, we still have, I think over 320 head of stock and that's cattle alone on this farm. We have loads. We still have 138 cows in the milking herd, dry cows milkers, and then we've got the heifers coming through again. The cows in the Lowe's building won't be under as much stress, so they should milk better, and hopefully milk shouldn't drop down by the amount of milk that those cows are giving, so that's how I'll find out. So yeah, that's the decision that we make on the farm. Sometimes we've got to make these decisions. We've got to decide what's best for the farm. I can't just keep milking cows and cows and cows, which I'd love to do. I think it would be amazing. I'd, I'd love to milk more and more cows. The parlors to the limit, the sheds to the limit. Let's say in 12 months, 24 months time, we might be able to milk another 20, 30. Who knows? Who knows what happened? But that is thoughts that go through my head all the time, decisions that we chat about, uh, where we want to take our business, what we want to do with our business. You keep milking cows, keep your eyes shut, milk, 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 fill that tank up, but you've got to make sure it's viable for our business as well. And hopefully even young farmers watching, older people who's not into farming or people my age, and you're watching this and you're into farming, these are the decisions that we make on the farm and we've got to kind of think with our head, think with our business head and, um, sometimes you've got to make these hard decisions. Hopefully those heifers make lots of milk and make the farmer lots of money and hopefully they get treated as well as they would have done here. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Bit of a business decision. We've made a lot of business videos we've been making lately. Hope you enjoy this kind of stuff. I hope you, it puts an insight of my decisions that go through my head, dad's head and everyone's head. It was my decision to sell them. And in my heart, if I'm going, I think we don't need all these heifers, that kind of means we should probably sell a few. So that's the decision we made. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, TP Merch will be ready on the 15th of November at 10 a.m. That is a Sunday, the 15th of November at 10 a.m. So people at the weekend, weekdays, don't miss out. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.